All right, so you know, um, a little behind the scenes information for you. We have a couple of producers who are admittedly geeks who drink. I love it when people like yeah. call themselves geeks. Yeah. I think it's a cool title. I myself. think it's cool. Yeah. They admit they play geeks who drink, they enjoy it. Uh, it's a name given to trivia events at bars across the country, so it's like a trivia game. So rather than follow them out, <laughs> we, uh, we, we learned more by getting more information on the new game show. Uh, the events have inspired actor Zachary Levi's The Host. He shared an early morning drink with us. Geeks to drink. Yeah. What, by, what, by the way, what are you drinking? What do you, what do you got in that cup? Oh, that's tea. Oh, okay. Tea. That Long Island iced tea. <laughs> I wish. Tell me, geeks who drink. I didn't know this was a trivia game. Is this a trivia thing? Oh, yeah, completely trivia. It's, it's based on or really kind of the television port version of an actual pub trivia circuit called Geeks Who Drink. They're in about 600 cities around the United States or North America. Um, and uh, Condé Nast uh, licensed the rights to make the TV version of it. And they ultimately, through a long kind of couple year process, they landed on us at the Nerd Machine and asked if we would executive produce it and bring our specific kind of view and vantage point to it and to helping to kind of crack the code of making it what it needed to be. And we did, we made a pilot. Sci-Fi really loved it, they picked it up and then they came back and they said, hey, you're the executive producer, uh, it's your baby. We want you to host it. We think you're the only guy that can really do this. And I, I hemmed and hawed a bit. I'd never hosted a game show before. I was a little worried about that. I was worried that people's perceptions of me might also change. You know, as an actor, you want people to still believe that you're an actor and you can play different roles. Sure, and when yeah. you are being a TV personality, sometimes they don't take you as seriously. But I thought, look, you know what? I'm not going to make a decision out of fear, and I'm just going to call this a bucket list opportunity, host a game show yeah. where I also happen to get to drink tequila the whole time. So that's fantastic. Tequila that is definitely not in that coffee mug you're drinking from right now. Not no, tequila. Not, unfortunately. You should put like a little yeah. little like a little a little uh, cloud that says, you know, not tequila next to the cup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I not know, right? Absolutely. Te not tequila. Yeah. Uh, so this game, we're talking trivia of all kinds, right? So who the people who play this game, what kind of trivia are we talking? Are we talking, you know, pop culture? I, it's history. Yeah, it's you mainly know. pop it's pop culture, it's pop culture trivia. We we throw in a lot of with the pop culture, surrounding the pop culture, there's some history, there's some math, oh, um, whoa. some science involved. But yeah, but, ah, but ah. it's all it's very accessible. It's not anything <laughs> that's like crazy difficult. Like I I love Jeopardy because I learn things that I would never normally yes. learn, but I constantly feel like I am definitely a layman when I'm watching Jeopardy. I don't feel like I, I stack up on that level. Geeks Who Drink, on the other hand, very accessible. It's about stuff that we all know. I would, I would say that the, the average watcher can probably get 75% of the questions right. Um, you know, there's some, there's some difficult ones in there. We gotta, we gotta keep it legitimate. Um, and then, you know, but all the while, it's, it, it's something where, you know, you're in, you're in a bar. Uh, the backdrop is this kind of fun uh, uh, place that, you know, the ambiance, the, the, the feeling of it should, should be that. And, um, it's cool. Because it's taken, you know, straight out of kind of pub trivia and, you know, celebrity captains and, and cool. our other, you know, kind of um, uh, Joe Public contestants who are amazing and super smart and very well versed in you know anything from harry potter to star wars to avengers to you know you name it more and, my speed yeah you know i went to every team every team before every show and i said look the trivia is real the money's real the prizes are real but let's have fun more than anything else let's yeah. have fun i want you guys yeah. to enjoy this experience i want the people at home to be enjoying this experience i want us all to walk away from this and feel like oh that was a that was 30 minutes well spent and I learned a little something. I felt good about what I know about uh, Iron Man, and uh, and I had a cocktail and while Harry I did Potter. it. Harry Potter and Harry Potter, which is my favorite, you know, movies, film series, book series. I am a oh, grown adult really? Harry what, Potter fan. What, uh, what house? What 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 oh. house would you say you belong to? Oh uh, my gosh, Gryffin Ravenclaw? Gryffindor. All right, all right, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm a Gryffindor myself. Hufflepuff. Who wants? Nobody wants to be a Hufflepuff. Why not? Nobody. I like the way the little sorting hat said Hufflepuff. Mmm, Hufflepuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, any, I don't no know anybody who takes a lot of pride Slytherin, in being okay? a Hufflepuff. No one wants to be in Slytherin. No, no but there's some really dark, twisted people out there that want to be Slytherin. <laughs> I've met them. They're weird. Okay, I've never actually had a conversation with anyone about Harry Potter in a satellite interview.
Ah, but, but we did, and uh, there's more geek talk coming up next half hour. Uh, is Zachary himself a geek who drinks? You heard he was drinking tea in that coffee cup when we were talking to him. Does he partake in this? He tells us coming up. He does apparently watch Harry Potter. Well, you know, that qualifies him as a geek. But I like it. I'm a geek myself. I enjoy the Harry Potter. And by the way, it's his birthday today. It's Harry, yeah, it's Harry Potter's Happy birthday. birthday. He's Harry 25. Potter. <laughs> He's 25. All right, imagine a alleged burglar hiding under a bed.